What is going on, everybody? This is Jackie's training one on one once again. And today, I'm gonna show you how to get a pump with light weight. Once again, you don't have to lift heavy all the time. You can get a good pump with five pound weights. Yes, five pounds. I know in my recent tutorials, you see me get a really good pump with 10 pound dumbbells. But now, I'm gonna show you how to get a good pump with five pound dumbbells. First, start off with curls, isolation. You want to just go as fast as you can, fast reps. You want to go as fast as you can. You can go both if you can as well, just to make it a little bit tougher. You want to go fast pace, fast reps. You want to go fast pace, fast reps, as fast as you can. Just to burn those calories. Really cut through that muscle. Never already going this fast. Now, you want to raise your arm up like that, ah, fast as you can. And this is really going to help out that shoulder. It's really going to help out that shoulder muscle. Ah, as fast as you can. Now, you want to switch it up to the first movement and repeat it again. Fast as you can. You can do isos if you want to. Really isolate that muscle. Right now, it's all about fast reps fast pace so remember to always control your breathing when you're doing this isolations are very important too you want to isolate that arm now we'll switch it up and go both arms with a faster pace fast as we can it's tough but your body We'll get used to it after a while. Ah. Raise it up. And even with the shoulder exercise movement too, so we're working out shoulders and arms. And you feel a really good pump all in a matter of five minutes. Remember, always kind of keep that back straight. Correct posture is everything. Keep that back straight. And if you want, you can also raise your Shoulders up just like this. So both of your shoulders and your arms get a workout. I feel it all in my forearms. All in my forearms, just like this. And I'm keeping my back straight as well. Ah, keep it really straight. Ah, as fast as I can. Once again, really burn those calories. Just going fast. It's a good way to cut fat and build muscle at the same time and build endurance and stamina. Fast as I can, keeping that back straight. These are three different movements already, but we're not finished yet. We're gonna turn up the pump. We're gonna turn it up. And hey, I'm already kind of feeling it in my arms, so what I'm gonna do is take this jacket off and gain more momentum. You know, one thing about working out in heavy gear is getting cold outside, your body's kind of restricted. So always wear loose thick clothing. The jacket's off now. It's time to turn up the heat with some light weight. We're gonna get a little bit more advanced. Once again, we're gonna start off with fast paced reps and then immediately go into slow control reps. And this is what's gonna give you that extra power. This is gonna give you that muscle choke control. Right now we're just burning calories on a fast pace, building up our heart rate, building up our heart rate up. And this is actually a good endurance exercise. So, you know, do this as a warm up. So we're gonna start with the first movement I just showed you. Once again, as fast as we can. We'll switch it over to isolations for about 10 reps. Fast as we can, back straight. Ah, yeah, feels really good. Ah, feels really good, fast paper reps. And these are all with five pounds, and I already feel a good pump. Ah, now, switch it up. We're going to shoulder once again, fast pace, fast pace. Ah, come on, ah, I really feel it. Yeah. Fast pace once again on this side, on this arm. Isolations are always good. 
exhalations are always good. Now, we'll bring it up close, just like that. And get the full stint of that shoulder workout. Get the full stint of that shoulder workout. Uh, nice. Fast like this for at least about 10 reps. Uh, don't forget to control your breathing. Flex every muscle in your body. Flex every muscle in your body while doing this. Really feel that power. Really feel that power. Put all your energy into this light weight. The weight should be an extension of your body. You should be able to control it any way you want to. So right now I'm doing fast paced reps. Alright. Feel pumped. The blood's up. Heart rate's up. I feel real good. So now. So now, it's time to do some nice, slow control reps. Nice, slow control reps with these five pound weights. And this is really gonna cause that tension on the shoulders and the arms. So doing these nice, slow control reps, I'm able to control it more and gain more leverage. But at the same time, my speed decreases. So, so as the speed decreases, my reps might decrease as well because it's a lot tougher controlling weight doing it really slow it's a lot tougher and i'll demonstrate to you right now with the same exercise okay and you see I'm going nice and slow really flexing that bicep as i'm doing it really flexing that ball flexing every part of my mind flexing every part of my body Really controlling it. Nice, slow control reps. Isolation reps. Nice, slow control. My body's getting that really good warm up. These are really good warm up exercises. And exercises you can do at the house and definitely will play a key role in your lips. Ah, yeah. Feels really good on the joints. Okay. I will bring it up like this. Nice and slow control reps. All with five pound weight, you guys. All with five pounds, and I feel it. I really feel it coming all the way down, nice and slow, nice and slow. Control reps. Ah, oh, yeah, it really feels good on the joints. Nice and slow. Control reps. Really control it all the way down, and blast right back up. All the way down, and blast right back up. All with five pound weights. Now, as you see, the shoulder exercise going slow control reps is a little bit more different. I'm causing a lot of more tension on the shoulders. Just going nice and slow. Causing a lot of more tension. Ah, man, nice and slow. It's also good if you hold it. If you're able to hold the weight just like this, just like this, Control it all the way down. Hold it for about five seconds. And control it all the way down. Five second hold. Control it all the way down. Ah, yeah. Very good. Ah, my slow control reps. Okay, now that we got the fast pace motion and I showed you the slow control reps, we're going to combine these two exercises in one. So let's go. It's time. It's time to get started. Come on. It's tough, but you got to fight through it. You got to fight through that pain. And you can actually jog while you're doing this too. So you get a good cardio exercise as well. You can actually jog since it's lightweight. You don't have to worry about damaging the joints. So you can actually jog while you're doing this. As you see, fast pace. Fast pace. Ah. Nice, slow control. You can just switch it up in mid-exercise just like that. Ah. Switch it up. And the possibilities are endless because you got that full range of motion. It's such light weight. 
can really pretty much do anything. For instance, I can hold the weight like this and do curls with my left hand. So I'm actually getting two workouts in one, all with light weight. And holding, holding this five pound weight up just like this isn't easy. I feel it all in my shoulders. I feel it all in my biceps. So these are two muscles having them work together. They're actually doing two different workouts simultaneously all in one exercise. And it's really tough because that tension is all on my shoulder now. And I'm out and I'm actually working on my left arm as well. Ah, really, really tough stuff, you guys. But with the right training, you'll be able to get it. And this is all with light weight. So I always practice with light weight. Before I got up to 400 pounds, you know, I had to do light weight just like this, just to warm up my body. And I still do it, as you see. Ah, I'm holding my arm out just like this, and I really feel it all in my shoulders. Plus, I'm causing extra tension to that bicep. Really to that bicep, just like this, just by flexing it. Really, really tough stuff. If you got to, clench your feet on the ground, getting more leverage. Ah, wow, really tough. Um, something like this is a more advanced technique. You can try it, it doesn't hurt the chart. But you really gotta focus. You really gotta focus all your energy into it. Everything you got. Muscle control is everything. So if you're able to control lightweight, you can, you'll be able to control heavy weight as well. Uh, come on, just a few more reps. A few more. Uh, uh, wow. Very, very tough workouts. This is all with light weight, you guys. This is all with a five pound weight that you could benefit off of. In my last tutorial, you see me working out with 10 pounds. These are five pounds, and I actually feel a really good burn because with the five pounds, they're a lot more lighter, and I'm able to control it a lot more, but now I'm able to do a lot more reps, and I'm able to keep a lot more tension where the muscles are most important. Always when you're curling, always kind of flex that bicep. Really flex that bicep and keep that tension nice and slow. It's with five pound weights. As you see, I'm keeping that tension in that bicep. I'm flexing every part of my body. I keep that tension. <sighs> Whew, really tough, really tough. Works really good on a pyramid set. Once again, this is Jackie's training 101. Um, you don't have to lift heavy all the time. As you see, I got a fairly good pump with five pound weights. First step to everything is trying. Um, don't let anybody tell you different. Hey. You don't have to lift heavy. All you gotta do is stay motivated and keep trying your best. With five pound weights, with really five pound weights, you can definitely get a good pump. Makes for good warm up exercises. If you want to, you can pyramid up to 10 pounds or higher. 